visuals that you can see on your screen right now. Arvind Kejriwal from the Aam Aadmi Party meeting his, his brother in the INDIA, Akhilesh Yadav. Those are the visuals we're bringing you right now on your screens. We'll just bring you more context. Remember, Arvind Kejriwal has just come out of being within jail. We've brought you that news over the weekend. You can see the the Delhi Chief Minister has made a, a number of statements about his electoral chances since the Aam Aadmi Party hoping to make a dent in Uttar Pradesh. You can see those visuals on your screen as we speak. That's Samajwadi Party Chief, uh, as you can see, Akhilesh Yadav, who's on your screens right now. Now, we bring you more context on this entire story. Uh, reporters have asked him a question. We don't have those visuals for you right now. There is a question that he was asked by reporters that he seemingly stayed silent on. We'll just bring you more context in a second. We'll have uh, reporters join us in a second to tell us more. Our colleague Siddhant is with us. Uh, Siddhant, just bring us context to these visuals. We can see on our screen the Delhi Chief Minister meeting with Akhilesh Yadav. Well, that's right. Uh, the, uh, there's a joint press conference that Akhilesh Yadav is today doing with Arvind Kejriwal. And in fact, uh, there's going to be a lot of questions uh, which journalists are going to ask to Arvind Kejriwal in terms of uh, uh, Bibhav Kumar again being seen with uh, him uh, on his arrivals uh, in Lucknow yesterday. And perhaps that has become an headline now because uh, despite Sanjay Singh, uh, uh, you know, assuring uh, the media that there's going to be action on Bibhav Kumar after what happened, uh, with Swati Malikwal, especially the accusation of her being manhandled uh, at CM's premises, and there was a call which was made uh, by Swati Malikwal to by Swati Malikwal to. Uh, okay, we've lost our connection with our reporter right now. Uh, we'll just bring you more context. Remember, what exactly is the story? What is the context here? Swati Malival had made the accusation that she was assaulted earlier. These were the claims that she'd made. Uh, Arvind Kejriwal had said he'd take strict action, but right now he has not made any comment on this entire story. The Aam Aadmi Party on Tuesday had accepted the Rajya Sabha MP. Remember, Swati Malival belongs to their party. She's their Rajya Sabha MP. She had claimed that she was assaulted by the personal secretary of the Delhi chief minister. Now, now, uh, the party had also at that point said that Arvind Kejriwal will take strict action against his PS. We'll bring you more context. We'll go over to our colleague Siddhant. Siddhant, uh, Arvind Kejriwal refusing to touch on that seemingly in this interview. Just bring us more context. Well, yes, that's right. So, uh, you know, there were uh, there were a lot of questions which were uh, which were expected to be asked to Arvind Kejriwal as it's going to be his first media engagement. Perhaps he's doing his first media engagement after this whole controversy of Swati Malival and, uh, and you know, in fact, him uh, coming out of prison. Uh, he has decided to do this uh, media briefing in Lucknow and perhaps both Akhilesh Yadav and Arvind Kejriwal are doing press conference right now uh, at Samajwadi Party office. And, uh, uh, and you know, there's going to be a lot of questions which will be asked to Arvind Kejriwal regarding the assurance which Sanjay Singh gave him the uh, gave to media the other day regarding action on Bibhav Kumar. But, uh, uh, but uh, you know, uh, uh, it would be interesting to see that how Arvind Kejriwal takes those, uh, take those questions. Uh, and and uh, he is in Uttar Pradesh to support the alliance partners, uh, Akhilesh Yadav and Congress. They are in alliance for the state of Uttar Pradesh, all the parties. And it's a joint press conference that he's doing ahead of polling in Lucknow. So it would really be interesting to see what he has to say on Vibhav Kumar traveling along with him uh, yesterday to Lucknow. Uh, is there any action which he has taken or the action is pending? What does he, what will he say in his defense is something which is yet to be seen. So just tell our audiences, uh, Siddhant, or rather let me share the details and then come to you with a question. Uh, on Monday, police had received a PCR call at 9.34 a.m. from a woman who'd said that she'd been assaulted at the Delhi chief minister's residence. After that, uh, obviously the connection was made that it was Swati Malival. She came into the police station. Uh, she left stating she'd give a complaint later. And for now, police have not yet received a, a formal complaint. But that back and forth, as we see, where the Amadmi Party has said they'll take action that has happened already Siddhant what are your sources picking up behind the scenes of course we've just shared with our audiences the formal version but behind the scenes what took place within the Aam Aadmi Party when this accusation was made public well look uh, uh, you know as far as BJP is concerned BJP is attacking the uh, Aam Aadmi Party they are saying that it's the double standards of Aam Aadmi Party when it is Prajol Ravanna's case or whether when it's with Bhushan Sharan Singh's case Aam Aadmi Party takes high moral ground 
and says that why BJP is not taking action against uh, uh, the sitting MP, uh, MPs and, uh, and, you know, the MPs from the alliance partners. But when it comes to taking action against uh, uh, their own uh, party men, uh, you know, uh, they, uh, there is inaction and perhaps the action is pending. All what media has got to know is that uh, there's going to be uh, there's going to be action against Biblav Kumar. But uh, despite uh, uh, 48 hours getting passed yesterday, uh, Biblav Kumar again getting spotted with Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal in Lucknow has perhaps raised a lot of eyebrows and has given an opportunity ammunition to Bharatiya Janata Party uh, that uh, to expose the double standards of Amarni Party that when it comes to uh, to the issue of women, women security, uh, then uh, when it comes to, uh, when it happens in Bharatiya Janata Party camp, then uh, Amarni Party attacks and, you know, uh, and says that BJP is insensitive and uh, they are Mahila Virodhi. But when it happens in their own party, uh, this is how they, uh, they handle uh, the cases with uh, so much of insensitivity and uh, ignorance. So that is how, that is what the BJP is trying to highlight at this point in time. We are still awaiting response from Arvind Kejival, what does they, he has to say. In fact, we will be asking him questions uh, regarding uh, Bebhav Kumar getting spotted with him yesterday at Lucknow Airport. And what does he have to say? Is there any, any order pending? Or, uh, or, 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 or is there any order pending? Or uh, is there any action which we could expect on him in days to come? And, and how did he travel with him? along with him and what why did uh, Sanjay Singh gave that assurance to media the other day that it's going to be uh, uh, there's going to be action against uh, Bibhav Kumar and also interestingly there's no response uh, that has that we have received from Swati Maliwal since that uh, incident has taken place right. it's on record uh, of Delhi police that she has made a call uh, and she complained to police regarding the assault that took place uh, inside CCM's premise and I suppose that she has not made any commentary on that so you know, both sides have to come and clarify what exactly happened. Uh, but till now, the suspense is still continues on what action the party will take on Bibhav Kumar. Okay, so obviously, Siddhant, we'll keep telling our audiences about this. But if we just switch focus for a second to the visuals on our screen, Arvind Kejriwal meeting the uh, Samajwadi Party Chief Akhilesh Yadav. Just tell us, we knew Kejriwal is campaigning for the INDI block candidates in UP, in Jharkhand, in Maharashtra, all of that. Just tell our audiences, those who may ask, what is the significance of someone like Kejriwal, who's just been released out of Tihar uh, in Uttar Pradesh? What is the significance he'd hold for the people there? What are you seeing on the ground? Okay, it seems we've lost our connection. Okay, it seems we've lost our connection with our colleague Siddhant, but the visuals we're showing you on your screens right now, on the right side, is a reporter asking the Delhi Chief Minister about the Swati Maliwal case. Just take a look. So as you can see over here on your screens, in that car there is Sanjay Singh and there is also the Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. The reporter is asking him to comment on the case. He is not doing so. That's what our colleague Siddhant was telling us right now. Remember, Kejriwal was arrested by the ED on March 21st in connection with a money laundering case linked to the alleged Delhi excise policy scam. The Supreme Court granted interim bail to the Delhi Chief Minister. This was two campaign and Lok Sabha poll campaigning. So what you're seeing him do right now, his bail will expire. So we'll actually have to go back on June 1st. Now, all of this is taking place, as we told you, a more recent chapter has broken out with the BJP targeting the Aam Admi Party Chief Supremo over these allegations uh, made by Swati Maliwal. She is the party's Rajya Sabha MP. Let's just go over to our colleague Anshul to understand more. Anshul, two stories playing out parallelly here. The Chief Minister in Uttar Pradesh to campaign, obviously, uh, and also the allegations and the back and forth around Swati Maliwal. Can you just tell our audiences, Anshul? So, Swati Maliwal calling up the, the PCR station uh, at 9 a.m. in the morning, but refusing to lodge a formal campaign uh, complaint. She's someone who's been very senior. She's headed the Delhi Commission for Women. She knows the significance of a complaint and lodging a formal complaint.